right, how's it going? Long time, long time no talk. I've just been so busy. Let's talk about this V, I believe this is V-I-S-M or V-S-I-M, this NC Stars Covert. This is their Covert bag or their, their yeah, I guess you call it a bag um, for rifles, small rifles. I believe it's uh, like... I want to say it's like uh, 28 or 30 inches long. So this isn't fully set up. Um, I've just been too busy to set it up, but let's have a look in it. So the zippers, they have a lock on them. I don't know if you can see that right here. And... Uh, here we go with the inside. So I've got a chest rig here. This is that Crydex um, Spiritus Systems type clone chest rig without the backpack because the backpack wouldn't fit. We have a tactical distributors. This is a jacket. It's like, uh, I guess you call it just like a, wain, a, a rain um, wind breaker or shield or whatever you want to call it. Just a, a light thin jacket that has a water uh, resistant or water repellent um, coating on it. These are very nice. I own two of them. And of course, we've got, I call it the hammer. The hammer's in here, and the only way this would work is with the law folder. Uh, this is a 12 and a half inch uh, barrel AR-10. It came back from Hydra Dip. So, there's that. And we'll just fold him up, set him off to the side. Okay. So, this... Uh, this divider is is completely customizable so you could just pull this out divide it all the way across you know you could split your upper lower and if i did split my upper lower i probably could pack a little bit more stuff in this but i want the rifle to be at the ready uh, when I pull it out so I keep the rifle together and then uh, up here in this we have the suppressor and then over on this side for now I carry a tool to adjust the gas block and then we have a ferro concepts sling here's another piece of divider that i wasn't using it's got a couple extra straps to secure your gear your guns and then down in here they have the carrying strap for this for the bag so let's talk about this bag just as briefly as we can I'll get this shoved back in here. This bag, in all honesty, you can do so much with this bag. Um, even if you don't carry guns, if you don't carry firearms, man, you could put jumper cables in here. You could keep, you know, and I thought about buying another one of these bags. They're so cheap to do this. Jumper cables. If it's wintertime, sweatshirt, extra socks, gloves. I mean, you got pouches up there for gloves, extra socks, food. Uh, maybe just some drinks and snacks uh, just in case, you know, maybe you're in, in an accident. And you could put like um, Capri Suns or some sort of drink of that nature and uh, some snacks and you could even do tools uh, with your jumper cables maybe like a tool kit uh, just a basic tool kit a craftsman type tool kit and uh, 
just whatever. And then you could zip it up and it's all conveniently in, in one bag. You know, you don't have like uh, your tool. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people put those plastic craftsman tool kits under their seat and sometimes they slide forward and sometimes they slide back. You could pack everything in here and just slide it in the trunk behind the seat and it's just all conveniently located. As of this time, they have three colors. They have this brown, they have a black, and they have a gray. I wanted the gray, but the gray pretty much looked black, at least from the websites that I found it on. Uh, but it's I've, 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 I've been taking it out, and you can see it's got, you know, grease and carbon and staining and, and all that. Um, I... Uh, you know, I, I just, this is the perfect bag for these types of uh, SBRs, especially with folders or sliders, you know, these uh, PDWs, these AR PDWs or these uh, PDW Glock ARs, uh, MP5, MP5Ks, P90s. Uh, to me, I don't want to call this a bug out bag because it's definitely not a bug out bag that you would carry on your back but it's that type of bag where you can load it up with your rifle of choice or your sub gun of choice you know if you want to run light um you could uh and you can modify these spiritus type um chest rigs but uh, you, I could run this thinner. I could take the dangler off if I don't need the dangler. Run it lower and thinner. Um, if you had a, a flat pack, you know, you probably could put a strategic, Haley strategic flat pack on top. I mean, the sky is truly the limit with this small bag. And when you fold it up, in a lot of ways, it just kind of looks like a luggage bag. Um, tan might not be the most uh, inconspicuous color, and that's why I was really thinking about getting the gray. But I don't know, and I don't know if this has been discontinued or not. I just seen it on eBay. But if uh, NC Stars that uh, VSIM or VISM line, you know, you guys really have got something cool here. There's not much I would really change with this. Um, it just is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's going to be, you know, I run a surefire light on the opposite side. If I ran it on the side showing, the gun might would lay a little bit lower and have a little bit sleeker profile. Uh People running with an MP5, P90, something like that. You don't have to worry about. I know this uh, doesn't help in its overall profile and being slim and inconspicuous, but I wanted this setup to be the type of setup where if you were out and about and, you know, maybe you're on the interstate and, and, you got BLM blocking everything and going down Antifa BLM blocking the interstate and and causing a disruption and you need to instantly become a direct action individual. You don't have to worry about assembling the upper and lower. I wanted to just grab, put a mag in it and go. And I might even keep maybe under this, just a spare mag loaded so that I don't have to pull one from the chest rig. I can just put it in and and if I need to go to work, just start going. The sling also will be on this. I just, I've been so busy, I haven't even had a chance to really set the sling up or anything or I need to get a rubber band or something here so that I can stow that sling on the on the rifle at all times without it being a mess. Um, 
but this bag is fantastic. I think I gave, I think I gave like 30 bucks or 40 bucks for it on eBay and shop around also, but that's where I found it in tan only. And, uh, and I went ahead and grabbed it because I, I honestly think this is absolutely a fantastic thing. And like I said, get another one because you could throw one with all this stuff in it. And then you could throw another one with, like I said, jumper cables and just your average car tools in it. You could put stuff in it for, like I said, stuck on the interstate, interstate in a snowstorm and hours are going by and maybe you need another sweater. Maybe you need some snacks. Maybe you need, maybe you need to abandon your vehicle and you need an extra jacket. Maybe you need to get out and change a tire in the rain and here you have this rain, uh, this rain jacket, this uh, rain wind jacket. The sky truly is the limit with these bags and um, these types of bags. And uh, there will be more in my future. Um, I would probably get another one for my 556 and set it up ex pretty much exactly the same way. I'm still working on this. I just haven't got around there, around to giving it my full attention. I mean, we could put an IFAC in here. Um, there's a little bit of space over here. Uh, you could put the uh, trauma stuff up there. Um, I wanted to get uh, my battle belt. I thought I could get it in here but I can't. Um, but maybe you could have another one with with a loadout, with with a plate carrier, with your your um, battle belt. You know, I use a two-piece belt, and you could have the two-piece belt if you wanted to do armor, if you wanted to do just any odds and ends. You know, you don't have to use that divider. Um these are fantastic bags, and, and I really encourage you to look into these. If it's not this particular bag by NC Stars, you know, I know there are uh, higher end. Uh, First Spear has a bag of this nature. I believe I seen Tactical Taylor might have had one. Grey Ghost Gear, I think, has one. Um, 511, I think has one. And I think I actually sort of considered that one. Um, but ultimately I seem to always get in to a cheaper bag first to see if that, uh, type of equipment works. Um, and then if it does, then maybe I look into a better one if it don't fit my needs. But this has really been, really been awesome. I just, I, I know I keep saying that, but I just cannot explain to you guys how fantastic this bag is and, and the uh, just the amount of ideas are through the roof for this, for this uh, type of bag. Even if it isn't firearms related, I mean, tripods, you know, uh, some camera gear, um, it's just the sky is the limit. Anyway, uh, I'll come back to this bag later on when I fully get it set up. I, I need some time to think about what I really need, what I don't. You don't want any more. You don't want any junk in this bag for sure. Um, you definitely want to think it through uh, if you're going to keep it one way and set up for a specific rifle. But when I get it completely tailored and I'm satisfied on it, I will do a re- you know, a redo, uh, I'll, I'll come back, I guess I want to say, and visit this again and let you know what I came up with. And um, and we'll go, oh, I know you definitely uh, want to put, uh, store um, laminated copies of um, NFA paperwork up there. I know that's definitely something else that I thought about, especially carrying a you know, toting around a SBR, you definitely want to keep, uh, and a suppressor, you definitely want to keep the NFA paperwork handy. Um, but 
But man, there's just so much you could do with this bag. Hey, I'll catch you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed the video.